Hey guys, I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. So today's been a busy day. Um, I had to get up early and take both cats to the vet. And I think if I'm smart in the future, their next cat, next checkups, I'm going to make them on two separate days because taking two cats on the bus at the same time is not easy, especially when I've got to walk several blocks to the bus stop and back. So, but they're doing good. Both cats are healthy. Max is a little chonker. Um, he weighs 10.7 pounds. So he's gained a pound since February. But they said he's not overweight. But I think he's darn close to it if he's not. Um, Little Miss weighs like 7.4 pounds. So she's only gained like half a pound or not even half a pound since February. But she is currently not thrilled with me um she had to get of course you know she has general anesthesia for the dental cleaning which they said she def she really really needed it because her breath stank and i'm like yeah not as much as her butt though um but she did good that took i gave her the medicine for anxiety before um last she had to get a dose last night and then a dose an hour before we went in this morning and then they still had to give her shots to calm her down but they said after they gave her the shot she was mellow but she I still have to give her her um her warming medicine because um she had the dental cleaning and so they wanted to wait a little bit before giving it to her so I have it that whenever she decides that she doesn't hate me again then I will wrap her up in a blanket and she will get her warming medicine so um of course the, the IV they had problems with it so she had She's got two shave spots on her legs from because it took two tries to get the IV. But in that, she's doing good. All of her blood work looks fine. She's got all of her vaccines and everything. Um, she got a new a new name tag. She got her old rabies tag and then a um, her pet ID tag. But Max has had one and Little Miss. I just haven't got one for her yet. But they match. Just Max is a blue and Little Miss is pink. So, but they are both doing good. Um, She's, they, the, 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 excuse me, while I forget how to speak English. There's nothing to worry about with him, with Max, with his obsession with the kitchen sink, and Little Miss with her smelly butt, or and eating plastic. Although we, we don't want her to keep eating plastic, but um, they don't. He didn't feel any obstructions, and she's acting fine. So we're just still kind of keeping an eye on her. Um, so. But I did have to get back to the, um, I had quit using the pet fountain because it's hard, it was just, it was super hard to clean and I wasn't sure about it, you know, kind of frustrated with it. I mean, it's not super hard to clean, it's just, it's kind of, it's annoying to clean. And it doesn't have a filter, so I have to, about every third day or so, I have to actually, you know, wash it. Otherwise, it starts feeling slimy and whatnot. But, um, I need, need to go back to it so it's set up and running. Although, Amazon has one for like $20, $25 that I'm tempted to get. I've got it in my wish list, but, um, I haven't done it yet. I'm going to do, Quick Thoughts is the name of the other survey app that I do where I earn Amazon gift card credit. So, I think I'm going to do enough surveys there to get gift card enough um, gift card credits to get the um, the water fountain. Sorry, my brain was at a, my little reboot moment there. So, but anyway, I today I have not worked on my sister's blanket. Um, oh, I got a nap today. I went, after I dropped them off the vet, I went to the grocery store and got all my grocery shopping done and it wasn't heavy but it was an awful lot of bags um, but I made it back home on the bus and decided that I was taking a nap so I got my nap yay Although I'm not sure if I want to really count it as a nap because I got I had to get up at 6:30 in the morning, which is a good 
hour, hour and a half earlier than I normally get up. But, you know, it's all good. Anyway, I didn't go to the post office today because I figured I'd either have to go to the post office with all my groceries or I'd have to go to the post office with my cats. And I just decided that I have to go to the dentist tomorrow, so I'm going to go to the post office after I go to the dentist. And then that way I don't have to worry about carrying extra stuff with me. So, but, um, oh, and UPS never did come. They, at 8 o'clock this morning, I got a text message from UPS saying that my packages had been delivered at 1044 the night before. So, they're not here. And if they delivered them at 1044 at night, they're not supposed to deliver after 9 o'clock. So, um, they, um, if, if they did deliver them late, that late at night, it's entirely possible that Porch Pirates got to it before I saw it. It's possible that they delivered this morning before I was gone, but they're still saying that they delivered last night. Um. UPS wants me to wait today and to make sure that it doesn't show up sometime today, which it has and I check every time I go out. And um, then they will, re um, I guess, have to replace them tomorrow. So that was my air freshener that, for whatever reason, got stuck on an Amazon day delivery. And I want to see if when they do send the um, replacements, if they can not make me have to wait till next Wednesday. Just do the normal overnight stuff so but I started working oh I, I got in the Harry Potter book okay so pot the Pottermore website got shut down because now it's wizardingworld.com so you go in there and I took the official sorting house quiz so that I could know which house was mine so I could you know because like they had like the house cardigans like I wanted to make a cardigan so I may as well make mine I'm slithering how in the world? Um, that's funny, but you know. So I guess I'm. I'm just going to take solace in the fact that Merlin was Slytherin. So, and I don't have to be Voldemort or Draco. So, my Patronus is a Newfoundland. So, I love cats, and my Patronus is a dog. But. So I started working on the Harry Potter, um, the washcloths in there, because they were the simple knit and pearl, you know, and it's easy enough. Oh, and that's coming off. I'm going to have to fix that. So I started I'm making, um, this is Nagini, so I'm, quit eating the yarn. So I figured I'd start the one with the snake. And it's doing pretty good. And it's, I mean, it's reversible because, you know, you have this way and that way. So you'll be able to see the pattern from both sides. Although I've got to, I dropped a stitch. I've got to fix that here in a minute. Quit eating the knitting needles. And Crystal gave me some, it wasn't happy, it was a happy delivery yesterday. I got bag of yarn. This is and a knitting needle. So then you know, you know it's always good to have a spare knitting needle. And I'm not sure if that go on focus is de is just decoration or if that actually has a purpose. So if any of you guys know leave a comment down below. But it's a 5.5 millimeter, so you know, you know, always use an extra needle, extra hooks. But this is all, love this stuff, that the blanket, you aren't super soft, fuzzy, like velour. My only concern is when I, um, if I, cr if I crochet with it, just because the way that I hold the yarn, Max, Max is being a nosy little sucker right now. Um, it's going to give me the same, I think I'm going to have the same issue that I do with the, that I have with the derp, 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 um, 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 the, my sister's blanket. Sorry. 
for not having had ECT in every week, my brain re is rebooting an awful lot today. But you know what I think I'm going to make with this? Oh. See, this, and this is knit. And so I think that I'm going to make one of those and then I can stuff it and have this but I've got there's this bag open out oh. so there's four in there so this I love it it says it's 100% unknown fiber it's a mill end assortment she told me where she got them from and I already forgot the name of the um the place I'm gonna have to ask her just so that I can um I can go shopping and look there we've got that so we've got one more and oh and another loose one and another one and another one And another one. So now I've got to find a home for all these. Um, but yeah, but I think what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll end up making um, the another one of the, those little pillows, and I may just and I'll get um, either just fill it full of fiber fill or get and um, what I put that one in is I rolled up an old memory foam mattress topper that I had that was um flattened out to the point that I couldn't really I mean I could use it but to sleep with but it didn't really help that much anymore so I just cut it or folded it in half and rolled it up and stuffed it in there and it works really good and that's my favorite I love when I'm sitting there on the couch and I want to go like I'll just stick that by my head and just lay back and that's how I took my nap today I didn't even lay down I was sitting up the whole time so oh and good news my sister told me she they got an offer on the house and it was below asking price but more than I was expecting them to get but they did a counter offer that was just a little bit higher than what the initial offer was max what are you doing max is being a little booger um so they we got they're waiting here back from the counter offer so hopefully i mean if my what my thinking this is this is what i'm hoping i'm hoping that even if they don't get they don't accept the counter offer or if they split the difference on the counter offer um i hope that she it takes it because it's more it's more than enough to pay off the house and would give her a little bit to function with um would be an awful lot of stress on us to very we would suddenly have a very definite deadline of when to get the house cleared out um but my hope is if she's they've got a, an offer on the house and this is going to work out for her, then my hope is that this is just a sign that disability hearing is going to work out for her too. So that's coming up. Um, I don't remember when. She, she tells me, and I forget, and I ask her and she'll tell me and I forget again. Um, but I think the plan is for me to actually be in the same, because it, her, her hearing is by telephone. And I think the plan was for me to be with her so that if she's forgetting something or if she's not explaining something, you know, I can speak up. And because it is going to be a, it's a conference call because they've got the judge in, in their spot and the attorney in his spot and my sister in her spot because, you know, quarantine. So, but it's been a good day and tomorrow is just the assessment at the dentist at the dental school um but so i'll see kind of what the process is from there 
So hopefully I can get some good news about getting work done on my um, on my teeth and not using my entire savings. So, but anyway, guys, thanks for all, you know all the the good thoughts you've been sending my way and my sister's way. We really appreciate it. And just if you want to keep your fingers crossed for me or for my sister for the um, the counter offer. So, but anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow.